Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is uh, the purse, so pay attention to your finances. So time to watch that money, it's important for you. If you've overspent during Christmas, then it's time for you to just rope it in a little bit there. There's some kind of short journey that you're taking, it might be business related as well. So some travel coming in for you there. And now you've got the mice card, so there's discord amongst family and friends. But in Lenormand, the mice also means something nibbling away at your finances that you're not aware of. So you might be, um, you know, overextending uh, yourself as far as finances go. And there is that need for you to watch that money. There could be also some kind of family issue or, or some kind of issue that you're dealing with with friends. Um, some kind of discord. So just be aware of that. Maybe, you know, like minor disagreements coming up for you there. In the past, you got the I, so psychic ability and trust your own intuition. So you've been going on your own instincts and your own uh, experience in sorting things out. It seems like you have uh, had a disappointment in some affair and you've cut ties with somebody that was not serving you anymore. So you are moving on, really. Now, going into the future, you've got the throne card over here. So you're getting into a position of authority. So this could be a, uh, a promotion coming up for you there. Um, you know, some kind of management position or some kind of position of authority there. And uh, you've got a the lobster, which is financial pinch. So watch that finances because there could be some unforeseen expense that comes in there with that lobster card. Uh, you know, and try not to overindulge in anything as well. So those are the energies for that month. So I'm going to use the Tarot Mucha for the main read. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Emperor card over there, the Two of Rods, the Empress over here, and you've got the Temperance card over there. Oh, and you've got the judgment. So a change in path, really, being called upon to make something uh, different of your life, to move down a new pathway, to let go of the past and move on. It seems like, you know, you've come up from something that completely defeated you and you're now asked, being asked to rise up above that situation, leave it behind and walk away. And you've been guided by this angel over here as well to make that decision. So a brand new door opening up for you there. There's a need for you to get your balance back. Use all your experience and all uh, you know, everything you've learned in order for you to find a new pathway. So there's the sunrise over there. You can see there's a path going to it. So get back your get back on track, really. Uh, you know, find out what makes you happy and go for it. Really, you've been called to do that uh, by that um, judgment card there. Um, whatever you do, you've got this Empress card of year. It's going to be pretty successful. This is the card ruled by Venus. This is about improving your financial status, improving your life status. This is the Queen of Queens. So you know all the. Everything that the queens embody uh, in the tarot is represented by the Empress card. So this is about being successful, uh, being sympathetic to others and, you know, being in tune with everybody else. Uh, but also uh, being on top of it all and managing to, um, you know, um, make your own mark on the world as well. And that's what you're doing at the moment. Uh, it looks like you might be thinking of doing some travel as well. So you're definitely making plans or contemplating moving on. You want to leave behind that which restricts you and go out into the world. Leave behind that which was stagnant and you are moving on as well. So you are making plans. You may have been putting out a lot of uh, uh, feelers or you've been you know, communicating with a lot of people overseas. And it, it looks like you know, uh, that those plans um, are really starting to come to fruition at the moment. You've got the Emperor card over here. So this is about legal decisions being made, maybe sorting out some kind of legal issues um, or waiting for some kind of legal judgment to come in as well. So you're waiting for some kind of something legal to get sorted out as well. And you can see that with the hangman over there, uh, definitely waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in. Um, you know, you're waiting for things to start happening. Maybe you're even waiting to sign new contracts or waiting for things to move on. I mean, we've just come through this Christmas period over here. So this is a time where things are not really moving. The energy is very, very stagnant during this time. And this is probably what you're feeling. I mean, cancer is a very, very psychic sign and you tend to feel the, the shifts of energy or you feel the ebbs and flows of energy. And maybe that's why you're feeling a bit stuck at the moment. There's certainly some news coming in as far as the financial fund. Maybe this new job offer or you know, you've been applying for new jobs or you're waiting for some 
some kind of new money to come in and you're certainly going to get news about that soon you're just going to have have to hang in there and be patient it looks like there wasn't uh, an offer being made to you as far as a new job goes or promotion goes in and this is what you're going to get news from uh, or get news about really so it's something really well paid and it is something overseas as well because you've got the six of swords over here so whatever this offer is it's an overseas offer and this is possibly about signing new contracts as well this emperor is also about uh, taking control being in charge being an authority so this is an authority position as well managing people managing resources and this is what's coming into the your arena as well uh, you're definitely thinking of travel. So whatever this is, uh, it's taking you out of the being stuck in wherever you are and you're moving on. Um, you know, you're probably going to be working with a group of people as well. And this is what's been on your mind. You are in a leadership position as well. Lots of travel, news coming in about money, and it looks like it's overseas travel. This offer was made to you. Maybe you haven't quite accepted it just yet. So you're getting news about it and you have to think about whether you want to accept it. Now with this card, wherever you are at, you're pretty much uh, discontent. So you're not happy where you are. Things have gotten a bit stagnant, a bit stale. Uh, you're worried. You might be spending a lot of time alone. You might be really focused on that career, but it's not something that you're enjoying anymore. And somehow this new offer comes in here. And you're going to get news about it as well. So there's a new start coming up for you. And this is a maybe this is this change of home as well. So maybe relocating as well. But you're certainly giving it a lot of consideration there. Um, and it looks like you're going to be signing some new contracts with that um, a Knight of Swords. You can, whatever this decision is, you're going to have to make it pretty quickly. And things are going to start moving pretty quickly as well. So um, new contracts being signed there. And sorting through all your legal issues, making decisions on your feet there. Uh, you've got the death card. So you're walking away from the situation. Uh, you can see there's the towers in the background over there. So choice being made and you're leaving things behind. So you're going to accept this new offer, it seems, and you're going to be moving on. You're, you're uh, leaving everything that was established. You've got this big tree over there, and it doesn't seem to be serving you anymore. You're very discontent, very bored. Even these trees over here, they've got no leaves on it. So the situation that you look, you see yourself in is rather dismal. You seem to feel as though there's no growth. You're not happy. It's not making you, um, you know... You, there's almost like this lack of love for life here uh, because you are so unhappy wherever you are at the moment. So you're leaving it behind and you're walking away from that. You've got the uh, moon card over here, so still a little bit confused about what to do, maybe feeling a little depressed as well, maybe feeling as though things have not come to light and maybe crying a little bit too much as well. You're a bit un very unhappy there with that moon card. Maybe you feel as though also you've been deceived quite a bit by people around you. Now coming into the future, you've got the five of rods over there, the ten, um, which is the wheel of fortune, and uh, the six of cups. Now this five of rods, whatever it is you're going through, there's going to be a lot of competition for it. So it's not the easiest of jobs or easiest of projects you're going to be working on. There's certainly going to be a lot of discontent with the people that you're working in, a lot of petty arguments. Uh, even if you're going for a new job, there's a lot of competition, maybe a lot of people running in for the same thing, uh, uh, you know, people being very, very ambitious. It seems like you're going to be getting it because you've got that Knight of Swords coming in there. This is about signing this new contract. So although there's been a lot of problems or maybe a lot of competition to get this new job, it looks like you're going to get it. Uh, you just need to stand up for yourself and be very confident. The Wheel of Fortune is a very positive card. You are waiting for some news to come in. You can see that Windmill is not moving at the moment, so uh, it will. There's divine timing at place, so it will happen when it needs to happen. Uh, so just hang in there over there. You will be working with some uh, you know, people that you may have worked with in the past. Uh, you get along with these people quite a bit. This offer is a pretty good one over there. Um, you know, and you'll be able to form some really good close friendships as well. And it's going to be something long term. You're going to be able to uh, put down foundations and put down roots as well in this job. So, um, you know, whatever is coming in is coming in and it's a really good offer. And, you know, don't second guess it. If it comes your way, accept it. Uh, it's going to open the doors for a lot of new things and it's going to allow you to end a very difficult situation that you've gone through. Um, and you're going to have to act pretty quickly. So it looks like something coming in on the overseas front and it's going to be something of management, a position of authority with that emperor card there. And you've got the Knight of Earth. Um, this is the Angel Tarot, so the Knight of Earth. Time to buckle down and get things done. On your commitments, a guardian angel. So you are being guided and uh, you will start moving. 
Knight of Earth tends to be a bit slow, but he does bring in, um, you know, everything and uh, make sure that you are very meticulous in details. Pay attention to the details of things. Be very organized as well. You got the Eight of Air, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self confidence, afraid to, to take action. So you need to leave behind this uh, crowd mentality and move off on your own as well. And don't be scared. Uh, to take that leap of faith. You've got the five of earth over here, so fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. Now, you might be a bit scared because you're worried about financial loss, but all these cards show that you are going to be very successful at whatever it is you decide to do. So if you're making that change and you're worried about the financial implications, um, you know, it looks like there's it'll all settle down. So your money might be a little bit tight initially, but, you know, it, with a bit of saving and watching your purse, uh, you know, you um, you will be able to get through or weather that particular storm. Uh, it looks like there may be a new home on the horizon as well there. So, uh, you know, something new coming on that work front over there, and uh, it's all positive. You're going to get some positive news over there, and uh, there's definitely a big change coming in as well with that Wheel of Fortune. And it is a positive change as well. It's a good offer, so accept it. It's going to be something that brings in a lot of friends and gives you that position of authority as well. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.